this episode is now Pop Rocks. No, I'll chain myself to this kitchen island and protest. I'm not happy about this uh, Pop Rocks thing. Fine, then I reserve the right to cheat. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Claire. I'm in the BA Test Kitchen, and today I'm making gourmet Pop Rocks. I'm not blaming Chris for this. This is not Chris's fault. Did he say this? Is this his idea? You could do or... like a, a peep pop rock collaboration. No, don't or say something. pop rocks. I don't want to do pop Why? rocks. Why? No. Why can't we do pop rocks? <laughs> Write in and tell her how much you want to do pop rocks. Please don't. He didn't say that. He did. It's in the video. He didn't say write in, leave it in the comments, did he? He did? Oh, Chris. Write in and tell her how much you want to do pop rocks. Well, I don't really blame Chris. It's never Chris's fault. The backstory is that they tried to make me do Pop Rocks like a year ago or whenever it was, and I refused outright. It's gonna be stupid. Let's move on. Here's the secret. I know how they're made. I remember from looking it up. They're formed under extreme pressure and there's like little micro bubbles of trapped CO2 in the sugar crystals and there's that like tiny little exploding sensation as the sugar dissolves in your tongue and that's what makes the popping. There's absolutely no way to do that in a kitchen environment, which is why I was like, I don't wanna do this because it's a bad idea. <sighs> so Pop Rocks are sugar crystals or not even really crystals, just like sugar bits. They have different flavors. This is cherry. Apparently they've been around since the 70s. Strawberry, cherry, like kind of standard hard candy flavors. Green apple, tropical punch, grape. And when you eat them, they start to dissolve in your tongue and they make like a popping sensation. You hear them popping. Can you hear that? The rumor was that if you ate Pop Rocks and soda at the same time, your stomach would explode. Yeah. Right? It makes you just straight death. <laughs> really? I never tried it. I thought it was like violently fizzy as I remember. Ooh. I will say it's probably like a great feat of engineering. That's, I have respect for it in that sense. I guess the sort of like pebbled shape, that's another thing too, is like that's a fairly, it's not just like sugar that's been broken up. It, it, they really do look like little rocks. It almost just looks like they've been run through like some kind of a drum or something or a tumbler to like soften some of the edges. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm here, against, I'm here against my will. Oh God, going straight from the packet. It seems like a lot. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> How can you not like this? I th don't Did like it. Did you have a childhood? Yeah, and I don't, I don't even know that I liked it then. I can hear it. Oh. I think that if you could make something that would produce this sensation and like not taste like completely fake. But I mean, they're made from like under high pressure of like tiny little micro bubbles of CO2 and that's what pops. It's like when it dissolves. It's like, how do you do that? You can't do that. I like I think you got this. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it in one day. <laughs> <laughs> no one can help me. Carla. Yeah. Why are you upset about this one? I don't, it's like so many reasons. Oh dear. One, I was just, mostly I feel not listened to. Mm. Because I was like, I don't want to do Pop Rocks. Uh -huh. I just think it's pointless. You no one's on my side, all. except for possibly and then you. is there another way that you could recast the challenge to be like, I'm going to make this the fastest one I ever did? Yes. And then you're basically like in a competition with yourself. Right. Right? And it doesn't matter. And I am, I am competitive. Else. Exactly. That's a good way to spin the it. Why wise sous chef once said to me when I was complaining about washing like seven cases of spinach in the sink, and I was oh. like, oh my God, this takes so long and I hate doing it so much. Uh -huh. And he like looked at me and he was like, do it faster then. And I was like, oh, that's actually a pretty good I want to really dislike that person. Yeah, but But that doesn't make him point. wrong. I can like just endure 20 seconds of like extreme pain. Exactly. He's okay, saying. I hope that helps. Carla, that was so helpful, seriously. More pain, less time. Childhood memories? What was it? It's like so. if you drank, if you mixed them with soda or drank soda. Yeah, your stomach would explode. Yeah. And you would die. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Not at all. So it's like it's, gas come. It's 99.9% like, .9 sugar. And then gas, like in little bubbles trapped in sugar. Yeah. 
put it like I can't do that. I'm not Claire, kidding. that is not the attitude. Time for my favorite part, <laughs> reading the ingredients. Sugar, lactose, corn syrup, artificial flavor, red 40, processed with carbon dioxide. Like one of those things is food. All right, let's go to the computer, <laughs> do some research. Hold on, making Pop Rocks candy at home. Can I watch this? Whoa. So I was finally successful in making Pop Rocks candy. I've been working on this project for a while. And believe it or not, this turned out to be more difficult than aerogel or supercritical caffeine extraction Great. or a number of my other projects. Um, even though in theory making Pop Rocks candy is simpler, it, uh, the devil's in the details and figuring out all the right times and mixing rates and all that stuff. I mean, this guy's distilled water and like chemistry stuff in the background, so. So I can't believe it. I can't believe Chris, this is all your fault. I know. I can't believe anybody listened to me. I got here as soon as I heard. They listened to me. I taken off my coat. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't think anybody listened to me. I'm in, a, have said something I'm in a downward spiral. Like, this is all, like, science. Tell me about it. You know? I know. What do we have to do? I, I can't. Acids, I have a terrible cases? attitude. Oh, really? I, yeah. So, for some reason, put no blame on you. Even though the whole reason we're here <laughs> is because of you. Yeah, I just, I feel like... It's not your fault, Chris. I feel like the cameras weren't rolling when I said something. Write in and tell her. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember that either. <laughs> I have no recollection of that. I know. So what is what is he doing? I don't know. I'm only like 27 seconds into the video, so we'll oh. see. But he was like, it was more difficult than these other technical things. And look at like his equipment. I know. Like it's still like, water. Um, there's some kind of coil thing. This is on a level I don't think we can. Uh, meanwhile, I attached the, the CO2 tank to this chamber and increased the pressure to about 600 PSI. And then after the mixing time is done, it's the, the chamber's just allowed to cool down. Like I say, this project took a lot of time. I, I probably did 10 or 20 batches of these things trying different things. Yeah. Hey, Brad. A piece of copper pipe. Can you do this? Yeah. Can you get, like, give me a rig like this? Wait, well, Claire, it looks like if you pause the frame, it looks like, oh, Claire, how do you make a pipe bomb? <laughs> Claire, you can't look this shit up, all right, on, like, on work computers. No, what are they oh, making? Right. It's, well, it's he's making, like, a pressure chamber. Soldering. Soldering. That's fun. But if he wasn't even getting it super fizzy with, like, 600 PSI or whatever, it's like, I don't know if baking soda is going to really cut it. I just confirmed to myself that I am not going to be able to make these the way the Pop Rocks company makes these. So I have to go my own like more homespun route, which I think will be a combination of citric acid and baking soda. And then I'll have the acid will react with the sodium bicarbonate when it starts to dissolve, when you eat it. And then that will make more of a fizzing sensation than maybe a pop. But I'm gonna cook some hard cracked sugar, flavor it, add my acid and base, break it up into bits and see where we get. We have freeze dried Granny Smith apple. We could try doing the, the sour apple, green apple could be a fun one. We haven't really done any green apple flavored anything on Gourmet Make, so that might be a fun place to start. I'm obviously feeling a little better than I was earlier in the day. I think I was a little bit hangry. So here's the green apple pop rock. Yep, maybe we'll start there. So I'm going to make a, like a dry mix of the pulverized freeze-dried green apple. I just forgot what I was doing. I'm gonna do two tablespoons. The fruit powder, half teaspoon citric acid. The citric acid is there not only to give it a sour flavor since all the pop rocks are kind of tart, but that's the acid that's gonna react with my baking soda, which is the base. So this is the reaction that when you were a kid and you made a volcano for your science project in like fifth grade or whatever, that this is the reaction that's happening. Acid at a base. I think I'm gonna go up on the baking soda. I'm gonna do actually a full teaspoon. And so nothing's happening when I add these together because it need, there needs to be water for this reaction to happen. What do you wanna try? I don't know, great. So what, it's CO2 trapped? Under high pressure. Under pressure. Yeah. So it's literally like my mouth is fracking the CO2 <laughs> yes. as I eat it. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yeah. That's incredible. So I'm gonna start with 200 grams of sugar. Let's say 150 grams. 50 grams of corn syrup, this is an educated guess. And I'll do 50 grams of water. Okay, I'm gonna put this over on the stove. She doesn't like this product. Like, oh, forget the flavor, she's not, whatever. She's not delighted by it. No. She's not enraptured by it. I, I don't I, know, like it. Right, and like, you can't, <laughs> even, like, would I eat this every day? Yeah, uh, cameras are over here. Yeah, I'm right here, I can hear you. Carry on. Well, you know. Carry on. Carry on. We'll make pop rocks. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think about that? High pressure chamber. 
check. You want me to make a bomb yeah. in the World Trade Center? Sure. <laughs> I did not say that I wanted you to make a bomb in the World Trade Center. It's burning hot sugar. Yep. A pressure cooker. Yep. Yep. Where are you going to get the CO2? Bar supply store. Bar supply store. Yeah, get one of those canisters. Oh, of actually, CO2. Yeah. I have a soda stream. I guess yeah. I have that at home. Bingo, bango, bongo. But how do you do? Like, how do you get them together? You well, that's a... your job. No, I would quit. Look, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be safe. But I do think it's possible. I don't feel good about that. Not Needs to be at least six hundred psi. Psi. <laughs> What's in a pressure cooker? Most stovetop pressure cookers are preset at fifteen. Yes, I. <laughs> Perfect. Great plan. Okay, well, if you get you a, the pressure, if you get a bunch of pressure cookers, cookers. <laughs> yeah, like oh, like a Russian doll yeah. pressure yeah. cookers. Yeah, Claire, yeah. we are we are way off the map now. I'm not doing that. I'm not using a pressure cooker. It sounds super dangerous. It's right on the counter, I guess. I'm just sifting in that dry mix: citric acid, baking soda, and the green apple. And now I'm mixing in a little bit of this gel food coloring. All right, so I am getting a, a reaction here. I actually really like the color. As Chris pointed out, something I didn't think about was those little bubbles inside of CO2 is giving it like a certain texture that's airy. And so there's that sensation of when you bite down, it's not like super hard, crunchy, glassy, stick in your teeth. I want there to be enough of the acid and base left after the primary reaction that when you eat it, there's, you know, there's a secondary reaction that starts fizzing on your tongue. How do you like get some aeration so that it's not like overly dense? Right. So you have that like, shatter dissolve right. quality but then still have enough like ammo left over yeah i also realized that i have to add more citric acid because i don't want that to be neutralized by you know someone to no, be you sour won't. yeah you know it fizzes it all stand fizzes. up it doesn't pop it doesn't pop i don't think you're gonna get pop yeah what if my version of gourmet pop rocks is just a less aggressive pop i feel like you cracked it all right Next subject we're ready for butterfinger now it's not bad it's not bad at all does it taste like green apple? The color is good. I don't know if I'd get green apple. Should I do a different fruit that's more pungent? Like we have raspberry. Maybe something that really cuts. Yeah, I know. I think you're probably right. Oh my God, what if we did blue raspberry? <gasps> Raz with like two Z's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 wait, hold on. It's in yeah. here somewhere. Woo! Blue Raz. This is, see, see how fast the day turns around? Yeah, I know. Come on. I know, I know. This is awesome. It's, You're going it's getting better. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, this is why Chris is the best, even though it is technically his fault that I'm here. But I think what I want to try is a different flavor. I'm going to keep the sugar mixture the same. I'm going to add way, way more citric acid and much and way more baking soda. Claire, how are you holding up, Claire? A little better. How are you doing mentally? A little better. Yeah, good, see? Yeah. I ate lunch. This looks like that was a grimace, but... What do you see in the shape, in the blob? I see a penguin. Oh, yeah. Duck, for sure. Wait, like duck? Oh, no, no. Duck? No, but oh. it's a, it's a, that's the oh, yeah. beak, that's a penguin. A penguin I don't with, know what that is. a small tail. Ooh! A little baby tail. It's good? Did it it's do it? It's doing it, Chris and... And Neil came up with some plan with like a pressure cooker. They we'll wanted to build. That. They wanted to build a bomb. Oh. And I was like, I don't think we can do that. We can do anything. In this bomb. building. Mhm. Mm oh. It's fizzing. It's pretty good. It's very it's always gonna be great. Yeah. Thanks. Should I just try to push it? What? Is that what you put in it? More baking soda. More. Yeah. It's not like I'm like, acid. oh, I can taste baking soda. But like, case closed. That's good. You guys. Push it. All right. Push it. Throw a little bit more in there. Yeah. Get it going. I want to try one more round. Same recipe, but I'm going to push the baking soda and citric acid even further. I want to double it and see what happens. Ah! Oh, it's pretty Pepto Bismol y. So, I made this disc. It came out rather well, I think. Um, it actually took several minutes for it to harden, but here, and I wasn't, I mean, I thought it would, but it wasn't cool. <laughs> There's too much air in it. It has sort of a sponge-like texture. It's not gonna happen for you, Emil. I'm sorry. It's um, it's really delicious. No, I don't want you to taste that one. Why? That's the one I just made. Can I try it? Yeah, things went a little crazy. That one's way more puffy. 
Is it? No. Maybe. It did weird things in my mouth. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. Well, you don't like Pop Rocks. <laughs> I know. So I think the pink one is a lot closer. Interesting. It, it okay. feels like you've produced something that's kind of similarly intriguing uh -huh. and tastes better. The pink, to me, there's the air bubbles are too large. It needs to be a little bit denser. And to me, it's just like too puckering, just too much citric acid. So I might want to split the difference between the quantities from the pink and the purple. I think what I'll do is go home and I'll try to do a little bit of research about maybe there's some other chemical reaction that I can try to produce that doesn't involve dangerous amounts of high pressure and temperature. And if not, then like, this is just gonna have to be it. It's day two of Pop Rocks. I went home last night, felt a little bit bad about how negative I was about Pop Rocks yesterday, but I'm not excited. I hate this idea. I never even liked Pop Rocks when I was a kid. It's a dumb candy. It's so stupid. But I also felt right and correct in that position, but my attitude could have been a little better. So today I'll try to be less negative overall. <laughs> and I did read overnight, I did some research that like the shelf life on these is really short. So the reaction is much stronger like immediately after making it and kind of diminishes as it sits. I think I really communicated what was potentially dangerous about this project. I decided that it's probably not a great idea to experiment with pressure for several reasons. Number one being 300 degree hot sugar, high pressure, probably not a good mix. Two, any kind of pressurized apparatus that we have access to isn't gonna build enough pressure anyway, so then it just feels like we're probably gonna, at best, ruin a piece of equipment, and at worst, like, really hurt ourselves. So abandoning the idea of forming anything under pressure, but maybe it's just a fun excuse to play with dry ice, which I know is not a toy, but it's still fun. And then it's like, that's the extent of what we can accomplish in the test kitchen environment and not in like a laboratory under like much more controlled circumstances. So at that point, it's like, I think we've done due diligence and like, I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna call this dry ice place and see what they say. I'll be like, remember me? I was in there six years ago with a wedding cake. All right, is it, can we show up in person and we don't have to pre-order? No, about five pounds, come on in. Okay, all right, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Um, okay, thank all you. Right, it's all uh, six o'clock. Perfect, thank you. The plan is, we're gonna get our hands in some dry ice. And while we're waiting on the dry ice, I'm gonna go through a couple more versions of like the cooked sugar on the stove, play around with proportions and temperatures. And then when the dry ice arrives, I'll try whatever version I like best, I'll try it by pouring it over the dry ice and hopefully getting something with a little bit of pop. Um, so we'll see. Today's really looking up, because I get to play with dry ice. I'm cooking it past all the sugar stages into caramel. went crazy, look at this. You can see it expanding. That is, the reaction is like continuing to happen. So the idea is that I get it into the dry ice and it immediately hardens so that it cannot continue to expand like that. Thereby like trapping the gas, creating like a tighter, denser network of bubbles. And then hopefully there's, you know, once you bite into it and it starts to dissolve, there's like a further reaction and some buildup of bubbles. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we'll see. This is looking real weird, though. This is the weirdest thing you've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Without a doubt. Oh, it's like alive. The color's not great. I'm thinking caramel's maybe not the way to go. I kind of want to taste it. It feels, at least from this very edge, it kind of seems like the same kind of texture as that pink version I made, that blob from the end of day yesterday. Mmm. It's really weird. It's a tiny bit fizzy. Not a lot. I kind of taste the baking soda a little bit. Look what I made. What is that, Zach? It's real weird. So I tried making a caramel instead of taking it just a hard crack, like I cooked are caramel. We still working on, why are we still working on, on Pop Rocks? You nailed it the last time. Here, taste a little bit. I got, kind of made like a cross between the Pop Rocks you tried and like honeycomb candy. I'm not, don't worry, this is not the final version. It's not as um, busy at all. I know. I don't like this. Whatever the, this is going on, like just <laughs> dial it back. Okay. You had it figured out. Shut this down. This is. This is food bar. <laughs> you can't really bite into it. It's kind of like a giant cookie. The dry ice arrived. We have it in the freezer. I should probably be wearing gloves for this. Oh well. Cold. Dry ice is frozen CO2. And so it sublimates, which means it passes from a solid phase to gas phase without turning to liquid first. Now I'm just... Oh! <laughs> 
was that? The worst uh, noise. Oh, Ooh, terrible noise. But I don't want to insulate it. I, want, I do want it to go directly on there. Sorry, this is going to be a really unpleasant noise. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't lift my hand to it. Oh, I can't. I'm going to put it in the freezer and then close the freezer door. So I'm going to put another sheet tray over it like a lid because I want that sheet tray to get very cold also. It'll be colder than the air in the freezer. Oh, that was. Okay. So that's pretty much ready to go. Well, I don't think it's going to, it's not going to like shatter, but who knows. All right, I'm going to get my dry mix together again. It's hit 290. Oh God. Oh God. It's not really working out. Right there, open the freezer. Ow, it's hot. Wait. Oh God. <laughs> Move this. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it didn't really what do what I was hoping. It wasn't really pourable. I managed to get a couple of plops of sugar off the end of the whisk into the freezer. Maybe like 25 to 33 percent of the total volume of sugar made it into the freezer. I did a test and I froze the sugar on the dry ice. Oh, okay. Well, things are happening. Let's look at it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it works. Well, what are we looking at? Wait, you guys, I forgot to put the um, parchment down. You don't need it. It's too cold. Yeah, but it's right. It contracted immediately and didn't stick. All right. Oh, do you hear it popping? <gasps> yeah. That's... You trapped gas. Oh, that's bad. You guys, it's popping. Yeah, you should see your face. What's the definition of a pop rock exactly? Before we go any further, I am just. Oh, listen to it. Yeah. I'm really Wait, glad to see your excitement level come back. Clearly. Yeah. You needed this. Yeah. You were getting dark there for a while. <laughs> yeah. But we're back. I was we're not feeling it. Because, like, look how dense it is. That's good. It's good. That's what you needed. Hold on. It's still. Yeah. It's, it's actually. It's still doing it's it. It's probably like, micro like, fractures. It's not popping. It's probably cracking. Whatever, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's probably like stress cracks from. The super fast freezing, and then it's now like relaxing. Ready? Get it to Pop Rocks stage. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Super fizzy. It's popping. It's a little there. tacky. Oh, because it's sweating. But why? Because it got super cold. You brought it out the room temperature, and the oh, outside's condensing. Oh, oh, I hear. Mm, good point. All right. Now just put it into Pop Rock form. Uh huh. And you've done it. This is Pop Rocks. I agree. We're made, man. I agree. What are we doing? <laughs> All right. We've made it we're better. Make, we're making Pop Rocks. It, I mean, what did you want to achieve? It tastes better. It did pop. It pops. It snaps. It crackles. It does all that shit. Great. You just got to get it into this consistency. Put it in an envelope. Call it a freaking day. Success. <laughs> Boom. Version. Yeah. That's this is the original, obviously. Yeah, get this meth out of here. Oh, you nailed it. Thing. It's a one trick pony. All I think this is pop. one of your better replicas. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't see that coming. Well, thanks, Brad. Neither did I. It's not gonna happen, Emil. It's foaming. <laughs> I know. Foamy. I know. It tastes great. There is a kind of novel, textural, physical sort of thing happening uh -huh. in my mouth. Uh huh. I was hoping you got less foam. I mean, it's not. It's not like rabid dog foamy, but it's um, a little foam. It, depending on how much you eat, it is. <laughs> the foam is kind of a problem. I don't think it's a problem. I think that's your greatest asset. Maybe you just created a different treat. Yeah. Claire's foaming rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a tough one. Because you weren't willing to make a pressure cooker bomb, obviously yeah. we're not going to get there. Yeah. We're all worried that given the things we were Googling in this building, that we're like on some no-fly list now. Yep. <laughs> yes, I'm in like a professional kitchen environment, but I still very much think of things as a home cook, and this is definitely beyond the scope of what we can do in a gourmet makes kind of scenario. I think the part that I'm most proud of is visually, I think they just look, look really good. And the flavor is better. So I do think, unlike Starburst, 
I'm happy to wrap this one up in two days and move on to the next one, which will be a little bit more fun, more of a return to like real pastry kind of stuff. I don't blame Chris. It's, although it is his fault. I think I'm gonna try really hard to improve my attitude for the next one. I do feel bad that I was so negative. Here's how you make gourmet pop rocks. Line a rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper and place in the freezer. Combine four tablespoons baking soda, four tablespoons citric acid, two tablespoons powdered freeze-dried raspberries, and one teaspoon powdered freeze-dried blueberries. Sift mixture into a medium bowl. Grind any larger particles in a spice grinder and add to bowl. Set aside. In a medium saucepan, combine 100 grams sugar, 50 grams light corn syrup, and 50 grams water. Stir over medium-high heat just until the sugar dissolves. Then clip a candy thermometer to the side of the pot and cook without stirring, swirling pot occasionally until the mixture reaches 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Immediately pour the sugar mixture into the bowl with the dry ingredients and whisk rapidly to combine. Immediately pour the mixture onto the frozen baking sheet in a single even layer and let harden. Break the slab into small bits. 